Whatever. You look like you struggle with simple tasks. Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell. Why not? All right then, up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. That's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. Dude, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Ain't see your beauty. Drives like a dream. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. 
Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I want to see how you deal with a moving target. Let's see that sniper rifle then. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good plain old fashioned fun. Nice! Go on one more just for the hell of it. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. I never knew you were. Such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. What? That was some damn fine shooting, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks a tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Ha! Sing to me now, song dog! And another! Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Damn, you're shaking like a dog pooping peach pits. Don't aim at something you ain't prepared to kill. Gotta line them up good. Dumbass. That should do it. Nicely done. Jesus! I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, uh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about.
crazy as hell. How'd you get, buddy? Oh. Oh. The hell? Slider flood gone. They know that I stole it because I took a whole case of it so I'd have enough to do me, which was 24 cans. And I'd huff a can a day to get the full effect buzz I needed. And that's how I'd become in trouble. So I done my time, learned from that not to do that again. Weasel News. Personal says Merriweather not in Port of LS yet. Several hitchhikers have gone missing in Blaine County. Sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Right in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Mm, so close, I could taste it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Arr! Mary, mother of God. Cause every day I'm feeling fine with my 
Trevor Phillips. Elwood O'Neill. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Trevor, it's business. That wide-eyed idiot was mine. It's business, Bella. You want to discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family mess business you got when I'm done! Mm. All of you are going to die! I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you. Kill ya.
to look like a larger operation to me. He ain't taking our crime! He got shot! Oh! Jesus, are you crying? Oh, motherfuckers! Hey, back to your fucking trailer! Take over time! You motherfuckers! Hey, fuck you! Go home! Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots. I'll be back for you. I'm gonna burn it to the ground. You asked for this, assholes. when I'm done. Burn, you disrespectful prick!
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up ask... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. Oh. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He spunk in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Because, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost has descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to... Camp's up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again. The assholes here. They slipped. Ice took a hold of this whole place. You lost it. You are not forgotten, brothers. We'll find that motherfucker. I got you them bombs and that pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Sit tight, little buddy. I'll try not to get killed.
hard now, was it? Find my old buddy. 
Just Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, see? Trevor! Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Hey! Woo! Woo! Again! Again! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please, don't turn me into anything! I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ugh. Damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, hey, hey. How about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. That's it. That giant sprawl, Los Santos. This is the place. I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. These are the news. Drug wars escalate in Alamo City. The race for governor heats up to a boil. Lone robot in Great Britain wins big at the box office. Actor Gordon Henderson is suing the Star Tours bus company, but not for what you think. The drugs. Massacres in Blaine County as police are requesting increased resources from the state to deal with drug-related violence. The highly lucrative crystal methamphetamine trade is believed... Uh, so, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. Which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! I thought we were going to my cousin. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? 
little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club, and they fell in lust, and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his real troll tits, so she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Oh. Gee! Oh. We're near Floyd's house. I see you on the I-Find map. I'll give you directions. Just keep on a minute. Now keep going. It's a rag up here. Go straight on here. This is the place, I think it is, at least. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy would never prove. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck! Niggas. Man, if you channel half that energy into getting ass, you'll be the man. Man, bitches smell a punk a mile away, and I ain't no punk, nigga. You ain't cleaned yourself up yet, Tanya? What the fuck is wrong with you? You said it was all good on the phone the other day. Look, I was, and you know, I did. I, I was clean. That's why you didn't really see me around for a bit, but JB, man, the smoking is real bad. Re real bad. I had a few days. But you ain't clean now. Exactly, okay? And now your ass gonna lose every fucking thing unless I help you, right? I heard this shit before. JB ain't doing so good. JB ain't well. JB's your cousin. He ain't my fucking cousin. Look, your mama smoked, nigga. You know what it's like. Don't you have a heart? I don't have much of a heart. 
But by doing this, I don't have much of a brain either. I love you, Franklin. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. JB, appreciate all you doing. Just one more job with me, and I promise this is gonna be the last time. It better be. Now bring your ass on. Come on. God damn! Don't tell me Franklin Clinton ain't got a ride now. Understand, I'm on fucking tour. You want a ten to six? I'm reeling in. I can see it past the so you want a hit? Hell no! Nah. What happened to you, Tanya? You used to be a good girl. Even good girls need some sugar on their cereal. Days get long on the block. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. Why don't you get out the hood, away from JB? I love that nigga, man, but he bad news. What, like you? Like Tanisha? Find me some rich lawyer or doctor? That ain't real. Maybe JB ain't going places, but you know who he is? If he went his ass to work, that'll be a start. I show me how good you got since last time. Come in. We have an accident on that funky boulevard. Over. We got it. Copy that, vehicle 29. Driver's badly injured. Phone box on the scene. Car needs moving to the nearest auto shop. 10-7. 10-7. 10-4. Tanya, don't talk numbers, baby. Unless you talk in 420, then we got a date. Uh, 10-1. You're breaking up. Over and out. Man, ain't this like the fifth time? Ain't there any other fools out there you can guilt trip into working for no pay? You in the groove now, Franklin. And you and JB was homies before you had hair on your You and JB was homies before you had hair on your balls. Yeah, so you keep telling me. I still remember that time your grandpa caught you and JB slinging cigarettes. Whoa! You and JB slinging cigarettes. <laughs> Chased you all over South LS. Yeah, man, shit, that was a good hustle while it lasted. You still kicking it with that shit talk of Lamar? Oh, yeah, shit, I'm stuck with that fool forever. We didn't have much, but we did it right on Form Drive. Way above the clouds, NASA exerted. 1080 pixel John Turner picture perfect. When I'm in the hood, yeah, they want me for a loco. Yeah, the kid amazing money flowing, call it pronto. Maybe I should hush though. Damn, they got messed up. Wings like an ego. I swear it's not legal. High above the clouds, matter of fact, call it primo. She's over here relaxing. Yeah. Stop swinging it around. It ain't your dick. There it is. Okay. Fool on the radio said drop it at the repair shop. I heard that. Over. I think there's one on Adam's Apple Boulevard. Let me make that ass shake. As you scratch it on my back like it's the sweet steak. What a mistake. Tell them hold them sorry. I just came to party. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'd say you about earned a toe job of your own. Come on, Tanya. I told you you better than that. Don't get all high and mighty. You no different. You ain't afraid to use what you got to get paid. Man, what are you talking about? I heard about you rep boying on the side, selling yourself. What? That's what people are saying. You know Sharonda's cousin, Kiera's nephew, Deontay? Skinny kid with the big head? They call him golf club. No, I don't know Sharonda's cousin, nephew. He saw you with a rich white boy. I ain't judging. <laughs> I mean, we all got bills to pay. Man, that's so messed up, I don't even know where to start. Crackhead ass grapevine, really outdone they self this time. Just drop that bad boy in the parking lot, and we done. I thought you was an expert now. That should do it. Can you give me a ride back to the yard? Like I don't got nothing else better to do than drive your ass around. Sounds fantastic. Don't be sarcastic. You're just bitter because they didn't offer it to you. Let's go to the phones. Yeah, we want to hear from you out there. JB will make it up to you as soon as he gets back on his feet. Yeah, I heard that one before. We'll get some drink, get some smoke, get some good food, 
Do it right. Me, you, JB, Tanisha, if you want. Now that ain't happening. OK. You, me, JB, and that clown Lamar Davies, old school. If you ain't too busy rent boying, that is. <laughs> Franklin! Ah, fuck you. Yeah, fantastic. Shit. Nothing like giving each other plastic statues to help. I just want to share with everyone, you don't need to spend all that time working out. I found a perfect solution, okay? I got tech implants, six pack implants. You solid, Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. Ah, oh, fuck is this shit. Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park. Got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is what part of your body you wanna have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh. Is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga! Did someone say yoga? Oh, yeah. hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? 
um, she, she's a, um, she's a, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it. You guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ. She's a horrible dancer. Michael. Come. She might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ. What? Now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go. We go get her. We? Yeah, we. What, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go. Come on. All right. Dude, so, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Broccoli, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag, Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there. With. I didn't ask for a blow by blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond kale, okay? It's too late for kale. And it's magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or cock therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. I got ten. Here's worth a venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fine, fine. Do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, hmm, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come here looking for? I came looking for you. And I found you. Yes, you did. I know who you are, Michael Townley. You're in a new crowd. You're in a new place with some new friends and some fruity fucking habits, but you're still my running buddy. You can't undo that. Let's find your baby. You can't park there. Production vehicles only. Weren't you supposed to pick me up hours ago? <laughs> Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter, bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your names? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. It is quiet. Shh, 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 shh. All right, yeah. That was really, really good. All right, it's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right, Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like a, oh. a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. We've got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Win a Ah. Yeah. 
<laughs> you wouldn't even talk to Take me. Take what your daddy's gave you, honey. Sounds so crazy. Mm. Your dad's stuff a twenty in this. Oh! You fucking do something about this. Uh, uh, that's enough. Oh! Oh! I said that's enough. Oh, 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 hey! Hey! I got security. Security! No. What you fucking oh, say? Come on, big guy. Come on, right there. No. Come on. Fuck no. off! Come here, you little shit. No. Tracy, go home. I just want to talk to you. Ah, they towed us. We got to take the truck. Get in the truck, Michael. Whoa. Oops. Hey. Hey! Not my rig! Let's get that prick. Hey, take a left up here. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten his toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. Fucking asshole. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. Trailer was slowing us down. He took a left. Ah, the little best is going to the train tracks. We can have a little fun with it, but let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? We gotta go to the left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Right, right, here. Get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh. Shit. We'll get him. We'll get him. But we're sure taking our time about it. Ah, ah! He's going down into the LS River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, lower, come on. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, come on, get up. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. <laughs>